Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 5th, 6th, and 7th. That is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, you know that I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards when I read for the weekend. I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the introduction, which this is the introduction, it is not your main readings, I will pull a couple of cards from my Weight Rider Traditional Tarot, and then I'm going to pull one from my Guardian Angel Tarot cards, again, Radley Valentine. I, you know, I think that that's, I think we need a little gentle energy, and those are very gentle um, cards. They can tell, you know, they can tell you that you're fired in very nice ways where you say, oh, thank you, thank you. Not that anyone's getting fired, but just wanted to say that. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now, um, the power couple, which has been a power couple for since what, um, a couple of weeks ago, it you know it is Venus and Mars. They've been together. They were in um, Capricorn. I likened them to Bonnie and Clyde. Now they will be going into Aquarius, and they go into Aquarius, and you know, and they 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 don't do this very often where they come together. Mars and Venus has a very strong love um, a love relationship. You know, they they want to be with each other, and they're not. So the next time that they will be together um, after this thing with Aquarius and such will be in February of 2024. Okay, so remember 2024, Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto leaves Capricorn around, I think, the same, the same time. But anyway, Venus and Mars enters into Aquarius. Mars enters it at 1, 2, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then Venus comes in right afterwards um, seven minutes later, 1.30 Eastern Time, a.m. So, Aquarius is very independent. They have their own way of thinking, though, and it doesn't necessarily mean, um, it doesn't mean that it's general consensus, but Aquarius has a very, you know, it's an air sign, so again, there is our, you know, strategy, making plans, thinking. Um, you know, I kind of get this, I think that in the beginning, when it was in Capricorn, I kind of feel this vibe with Mars. It's kind of like, oh, I have, a, I need a little bit of time to breathe and be by myself. Oop, here comes Venus right behind. Um, you know, and Venus has, kind of has all of the um, bridal magazines with her. And, and Mars, who, you know, who wants to, who is committed, just is kind of like, hey, not quite ready for that yet. Okay, I'm kind of getting that. But I kind of, again, too, I do feel like as they enter in on the 6th, it is going to be an intense morning, tense day. So just be aware that if you're, regarding your relationships in itself, if you've got a very stable relationship, this will help your relationship. If there's a little bit of maybe not as stable as you'd like it, then there could be a lot more delving to this. So that's kind of where we're at with that one. Now, there is things that go on with Mars and Venus that it's kind of funny towards the end of the month or towards the middle. Well, as, as Pisces is getting ready to transition into Aries, um, there's some things going on with that. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but also, I do want to mention, I know this is a little bit all over the place, I'm sorry, but I do want to mention that I've been getting the downloads about, you know, the Ides of March. And if you know your Shakespeare, which I know it just cursory, I'm not, you know, um, you know, there was Beware the Ides of March. Julius Caesar was given a prophecy to, you know, basically, hey, your life's in danger, and especially the Ides of March, which is the 15th of March. You know, Ides are kind of the separation point of the month, okay? And he died. He was murdered. He was murdered um, by his supposed best friend, um, you know, Brutus. So there's something going on with that, something going on with the 15th. The 14th, we're having, um, at, you know, um, meteorite showers, um, meteor showers, asteroid showers type of thing. The um, 15th, I told you about the 16th and 17th has some really strong... Holy Day um, connotation, 16th to 17th Purim. 17th is our 
is um, St. Patrick's Day, and both of them have a battle with a victory. Okay, both of these holidays have a battle and a victory to it. Then we go to the 18th, which is the full moon in Virgo. And then we go, there was something with the, oh, 19th is when uh, Venus is squared with Uranus and kind of where, you know, Uranus is the expect the unexpected and 19th, you know, so Venus is very emotional, very, you know, very much, very headstrong too. And then expect the unexpected. Then that was the 19th, the 20th. We have airy season beginning and we have the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere. In the southern, it would be the autumn equinox. It is where daylight and nighttime is equal. And it's also when the veil between this world and the other is very, very thin. So I just have been feeling kind of like, and you know, I'm not, I will tell you when there is astrological stuff like, you know, Pluto and and, uh, Pluto in Capricorn and, you know, it's very solid. This just, all of these kind of things just kind of resonated with me. So I'm kind of like, ah, let's watch out for the week of the 15th, okay? Or it actually starts on the 13th, which, you know, according to these, that's, you know, well, anyway, we'll go, we'll just keep moving on with this. So let's see what we have for the weekend, though, of the 5th, 6th, and 7th of March. Okay, well, you know, this is my sneaky snake. We have our five energy here. Five is change, change positive, change negative, change neutral, but still change, change, change. Remember, swords is air energy. It is Aquarius energy. Now remember, March 5th, and now we have this five, so maybe there's something that's going to be going on on the Friday. I'm not sure. But whenever, you know, swords, air energy is about planning, making, you know, making some long-term goals, also about hearing news. But whenever I see the five of swords, I'm always thinking that this has a sneaky snake, that things aren't quite the reality that we really think they are. And yes, I know Saturn in Aquarius type, I've been talking about that for what, a um, a year plus, you know, that's about um, illusion versus um, truth. So we just have some sneaky snake, but I feel like this could be a time where we see, we see a little bit with more clarity. Okay. Okay. Let's go on. Next card is the Knight of Cups. Now, Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, very spiritual. Knights are very much directional. They go where they're, you know, where they're told to go or where they're led to go. This has a very romantic but a very passionate energy with this too. So this could be, you know, this could be, hey. A bit, you know, with Mars and Venus doing their tango and they're dancing together, this could be a very passionate weekend for us. This could be a very, you know, strongly felt weekend. It could be, you know, if there is stability, this could also bring um, that next step in our relationship. Okay. Next card is the Knight of Swords. Now, the other thing about Knights Knight's underlying energy is fire. That is our Aries, our Leo, our Sagittarius. That's passionate, burning, determined. The overlying, you know, energy, the energy that you're seeing, cups, like I said, is romantic, is is spiritual, is flowing, is very much, you know, and here I'm kind of getting him as being like he's 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 really watching to see where he needs to go. He's looking for his choices, but the Knight of Swords, same underneath energy, same passion. This is that air energy. This has quick energy. This is like I am going after what I want. So there's a little bit of a stasis here. There's a little bit of kind of like still water here. And then this one is like once the, you know, it's like the floodgates. The floodgates are let loose. You know, you know, if you, the dam has burst, it is going. We are going. Now, again, too, there could be some information coming out. There could be some knowledge coming out. Um, it could be, again, what I was saying, between the stability and the instability. Um, it just is the Knight of Swords, just fast-moving energy. Not necessarily easy energy to get to get along with either. So you're going to kind of have, maybe there's a duality here. The duality is, again, between the emotional stability and the emotional stability. Uh, but then we have to watch out for Sneaky Snake. So, you know, Sneaky Snake is... Uh, leaving his comrades or, you know, his compatriots or whoever that is, he's leaving them with only one sword each. He's taking the other swords. Now, 
two cards coming out. Okay, interesting with this one. So again, we have our fire energy. We have our nine. Nine has completion energy. It's everything is wrapping up. Again, fire, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as a beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being, cons are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection too. Now, we have a six. So now let's see, do we have any? We have a five and we have a six energy. We have five, nine, and a six energy. This is the lover's card. Six is the number of man. So we've got, you know... We've got some really very positive and stable energy cards here, and I know the world outside may not necessarily feel that way. We do have some of these, you know, these two sword energy does have some, eh, just kind of uncomfortable energy around it. But then we have open your heart. And this is one of the things that we talk about my, you know, to everybody here, you know, all of you, is basically we need to shine our light. We need to be the bright light we need to show our love you know so it might be that we need to do it so much more to you know to the world this weekend uh, maybe this is where we're getting you know this is what we've been prepared for so open your heart allow love to grow and bloom all around you you waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. So we've got some, again, these two, like I do feel very calm. I feel very steady with this. With my swords, I feel like let's just go. Let's go get, you know, let's get it done. Let's just, you know. Um, and then we have Sneaky Snake. Hmm. Okay. Interesting stuff with this. Um, I would get a beware energy. I would be. I get a you know connect of course with your higher power. Um, stay positive energy. Stay firm. You know stay firm. Stay focused energy. Even when this good old Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Air energy might be pulling some switches. You know pushing some buttons. Just telling you to just get going and let's let's get let's get a move on it. I still feel like, you know, again, that, that beware the Ides of March, I do feel like we have a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say more time, we have a lot more time. But, you know, this is, this is going to be just one of those times that just brings us to that next level, okay? Um, I just feel like this is, again, enjoy this weekend, lots of things happening, let's see where we go with all of this. Please, I hope you like, share, subscribe, click on the bell down there. For notifications and let's start our readings now. Hello my Aquarians and how are you doing? Well Venus, oh I should say Mars goes into Aquarius and then seven minutes later Venus follows him. I kind of get this little bit of this vibe that's kind of like you know Mars is like hey I just need a break give me I just I'm running down to get a drink. And Venus is like, where the heck are you going? So I kind of feel that there's a little emotional crisis going on between Mars and Venus. And it's all in Aquarius right now, at least for the moment. So, um, I, do, I mean, they settle, they settle down a little bit. But I think when they go into Aquarius, it's kind, I kind of feel like Mars is trying to just get some time to himself. And Venus is right there following him. Okay, anyway, let's see what we've got and believe me and to and all not believe me but trust me in this trust I, you do what you're going to do with all of this but my aquarius is and i've been telling everybody this and you know i tell you all the time no matter what is going on in the world we still have to live our lives so let's live them in you know as peaceful as we can how's that uh let's see and i know the, the energies they they don't want us to always be that peaceful but Trust in higher power. Things do have a tendency to work out. And again, trust in higher power. Okay, let's see what we've got here for my Aquarius. This first card is release. Okay, now this is that 13. 13, one new beginnings, 10 transition, three, a lot of 
um, creativity, also um, celebration, but it's also very strong, powerful energy here. You say something, do something, you know, three times, very strongly, you know, the energies pick that up. Now, this is Archangel Azrael. The 13 release card in the traditional tarot is the death card. It in this and you know and this is one of those um, the 13 is also that week I was talking about with the Ides of March. It starts with the 13th I think on Sunday, so it's kind of. Uh, but the death card is not to be, a, be to be afraid of. It just means a change, but the change is rather abrupt. It it means that the change has to something ends like that in order for something new to begin. I've had the death card in my own cards many, many times. And it's like, oh, we're having a big change. And sure enough, we have a big change. But with this, with this card, the release card in the angel cards, it talks about the end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. It is time, my Aquarians, to move on. Move on. Time to live your life. Next card, reversed the six of earth. Well, you know what? If we're going to have, some, if it's time to move on, it's a good thing to have the six of earth. Six is the number of man. It's the effort you put into something. Earth is our Capricorn, our Taurus, our Virgo energy. It is our job, money, career. It is also our home energy. This, has, this is paying off some debts, unexpected money coming in. This is gifts coming in. So, and, you know, and even though this is an earth energy, it does have a Libra vibe with the scales in this, in this card. And it kind of is like money, you know, you know how you're like, oh, I have more money going out than I have coming in. This is saying, no, you're going to have the money coming in. And I feel like it's going to be more than the money going out. So this is gifts of money. So if something's going to have to change, let's do it with the six of earth. Now, this could be that you're getting a new, new job. This could, you know, how do you get more money? It could be um, a contract. Um, uh, you know, a settlement, inheritance. It could also be a new job. I do feel contract energy here too. That's why I said that, I guess. Um, if that is, go and have a lawyer look at that. I'm not a lawyer. Anyway, gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debt. Next card is awakening. So now we have, so we have awakening. This is the hanged man in traditional tarot. We have a one two, so we have a one three six one two, or a two one six three one. Hmm. So Archangel Gabriel is um, the divine messenger. You know, lot, you know, basically the message can be a little bit like, oh, what? Say what? But in the end, it is a positive message. So never think, you know, with with Gabriel, don't think that the message is always going to be this one. Oh yeah, we got this. Oh great, I'm so glad. You know, Gabriel brings messages that do have good outcomes, but sometimes the outcomes aren't necessarily seen right away. Okay, I don't know why I had to say that. The awakening is look at things differently. Don't necessarily, you know, this is an expansion of your mind, expansion of just how you are. Just There's like new stuff coming out there, new stuff new ways of looking at something. You might discover something you didn't know before. Anyway, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. This, I really think, is really important for you, my um, Aquarians. It's important to be yourself. So if anybody else is trying to, I don't know what to say, if, you know, if they're trying to instill their will on you, it's important for you to be who you are. Okay. Let's see. So there's there's a big change happening. You're going to have, and this possibly might be that you have to look at this big change as a blessing. You know, like I said, the release card is kind of a okay. It's a it's a harsh card, but yet it's a card of really possi endless possibilities too. So there's some there's some of this. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? To oh my gosh, look at this happening. But it all depends on how you're going to look at it. It all depends on how you receive it. How's that? But that six of earth does have money coming in. So if it's, it could be, a, you know, it could be a, you going to a better job. It could also be that maybe a job ends and you get a really good settlement. And, you know, and it's all, it all depends on how you look at it. Do you look at, you know, I know, is the glass half filled or is it half empty? 
So it's, you know, it, 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 it depends on your perspective, I guess. Let's see what we have. The thing is, if it is a job that, um, if it is a job that ends, you were ready for it to end. You didn't, you know, maybe the security, all that, but you were very ready for the, it to end. Also, if it's a job that you're, it's a new job, you're ready for the new job. You have been ready for this for a long time, my Aquarians. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Archangel Energies, Justice. Now, I talk about how this reminds me of Libra Energy. Well, this is Libra Energy, too. So now we have an eight. Unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Archangel Ragula, Justice, the scales. Justice is blind. The scales are even. A lot of this, I mean, this could be, again, this could be legal justice. And that's, you know, again, I'm not a lawyer, so make sure you go and see whoever is that. Um, but the thing is, this could also be karmic justice because there is a lot of karma being, you know, being clicked off, being checked off, and you know, in the last, well, for quite a while, you know, we have been meeting a lot of our karma, and we've been checking, 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 striking, checking off. So this could be karmic justice, but it could also be legal justice. Again, get that lawyer. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings are made in your favor. Don't give up. I really feel like that don't give up is very strongly worded. I mean, that message comes through very, very, yeah, don't give up. Now, does that mean not to settle a settlement? I don't know that that means that or not. Again, it's really don't give up. Check with your, if this is legal at all, again, the lawyer thing. Anyway, so there looks like there is a big change coming this, I would say more this weekend or when you see this video. There is money involved and it's, you know, it's going to be, is, it, is the glass half filled? Is it half empty? But there is balance being, balance coming. There is justice for you in this too. Next, last card, crystal or energy for my Aquarians. Blue Topaz, finding a spiritual ally, higher wisdom, abundance, forgiveness. So there might need, you might need to have a little bit of forgiveness towards whoever and whatever, but at the same time, I go to that six of earth, I go to that, you know, this, this, has a, this might be an abrupt change, but it's all depending on how you look at it. And again, justice. Okay. My Aquarius says, please let me know. You know, I have to try to remember. I don't have to understand this. I just have to deliver it. But please let me know what this is all about. Anyway, my Aquarius says, take a moment and like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell for notifications. As always, my wonderful Aquarius says, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.